Okay, let's get this party started. Oh man, okay, true freezer, the uh, two-door T49, um, let's see what the, how old it is, get the model serial number here, we've got a T49F, I'll have to run the serial number, I don't know how old it is, but I'm guessing it's in the 10 to 12 year old range, something like that, maybe 7 or 8 or something like that. Um, but anyhow, so, complaint was things still running, zero degrees, but it smelled like something burning. So, uh, the good people that they are, they know better than to keep running something that's burning. So they shut it down, unloaded it, called me, and I just sniffed around with my nose, and I smelled in this electrical box, and I'm like, man, it's like, uh, kind of a little little stinky just a slight stink I'm like well what could be making a smelly noise inside of that box a smelly smell rather and I'm like I pulled the relay out I did a contact over there so we don't cut the relay so I know it's not the relay but guess what we still have the old plug -a rooney and my nose yep there we go the old burno of the wire Plug, plug, smoky, smoky plug. I can smell it the more I touch it. So, yep, there we go. Cool. Damn, I'm good. Just use my nose. Didn't even plug it in yet. Only been here like five minutes. Cool. Sometimes you just gotta use your nose. It smells coming from this little in the box. It's from this outlet right here where the wires go in here. One of the wires burned off going into your electrical outlet that runs a compressor. Glad you shut it down, because it would have been screwing up the compressor, making it go on and off all the time. It'd be very bad. Okay, found it. So there's the plug. Didn't melt that bad. It was just stinky. Neutral just fell right out. The neutral goes right in there. That hole right there. I don't know if you can see the hole. Anyways, neutral wire just fell right out. Uh, it's just it's just stinky. But they cut it. Hopefully the unit works. We'll see. Okay, uh, this is all done. It's gonna go up in here like that, and that one is gonna go in there like that too. So that's like that. Pretty clean. Just see the cord end. It's heavy duty, 14 gauge cord. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 14. It's 14 or 12. It's real heavy though. It's a good cord. All right, so that's how I do them. Just use the half inch knockout that's existing there. All right, just leave that open. All right, good to go. And you, what I do sometimes too is I use wire ties to keep uh, wires back because you got that hole that's right here that where the cover's got to go on, so you don't want the wire to rub on that screw. So uh, I use a wire tie just to kind of pull the bundle down a little bit. And you can put the tail of the of the wire tie across the rest of the wires. That way, the tail always hits the cover and not the wires. Just another little tip of the day. All right, that's how I do it. Click like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, click like and subscribe. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that I use uh, these are shrinkable 
uh, butt connectors. They have some stuff in them that uh, I use them for marine applications and any wet applications. And I use them for dry applications too. They just, we got water that might defrost in here too. So I just, I like them. They work really nice. So I shrink those connectors down there front and back. Okay, doing a degrease. Nine year old unit, ten year old unit. Gotta clean these blades up pretty bad. old hasn't had a full dyno ever on it so going through it alrighty she's all cleaned up what a job a 10 year cleanup should be good in there Double cleaning, double degrease, and a blowout. Blow the shit out of it, blow through it both directions, backwards and forwards, and wet rag, wipe all the motors down and everything. Whew. Blow it and spray it off with a sprayer. And that's what I do with I use one of these sheet pans. Keep a sheet pan on my truck and use that to collect the water and the stuff and have my vacuum sitting in it and just suck up the water as I'm doing it. Works good. Super clean now. Look at them tubes. They are clean. Whew. Dang, it is clean. Hey guys, uh, whoa, what sounds? Uh, my headlight. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, um, a little tip of the day. Uh, you see the scratch mark in front of the paint right here? Uh, I take a small screwdriver, you can use a scratch all and scratch them like that. You want to scratch them in front. Uh, whenever you take something out and move it, same with like, because you got to take off like this this framework structure here to get this unit out and this and stuff. Um, so you can line them up. I put a scratch on the back side of this hinge. See it like right here? So you can tell where it lines up again. Just helps, it helps you when you're reassembling stuff. So, uh, and the, you know, the height of it and all that kind of stuff. So. Just a little tip of the day. Um, right, thanks for watching. Click like on the video, subscribe. Thanks. I think it's time for a contactor in this thing. Let's see if this video helps me at all. Let's see if that.
Okay, let's get this party started. Oh, contactor change out. True T49 F freezer. Okay, uh, changing out contactor slash relay true T forty nine F freezer two door freezer um, black and white are the coil black and black are your compressor and then blue and blue are your fans. Time delay, and a new contactor. Okay, out with the old contactor. There's the old contactor. There's the points on that one. It's pretty much gone. Those, those aren't bad. That's compressor. This is the compressor contacts right on this side. That's what I was most concerned about. So, um, but, yeah. Right, let's go on. Let's see the other side. Let's see if we got. So we got on the other side. Yeah. Go on. Go with the old. put in the time delay is because I opened the door the unit shut off and I opened the door and I had the door open for like maybe 30 seconds I was taking the front screen off here you know where you work under the bottom here and the freaking compressor came back on again like within like 30 seconds when I had the both doors open so I'm like holy shit I don't want that happening so that's why having the compressor come on 30 seconds that'll that's why these wires melt you know in the back there you know where these wires back there where they melt from the plug and stuff so any of you guys are here got these t49s or t72s or anything man put a uh put a contactor and uh get rid of that little cheapo relay especially for those one horse compressors on the t72s and uh the semi hermetics and put a time delay on it man why I use the delay on brake is so if the unit has been off for five minutes already, it'll uh, it won't stay off for another five. You know. So that's where we're going. Um, all right, <clears throat> good to go.